I have this question, and I've asked you guys this before, but I want to bring you back to this. Why is it that like all the video that we saw over and over and over and over and over again in a loop on television, it was all shot by Pelosi's daughter? I mean, with all the friends that she has in the media, she couldn't have called in a few media crews. She had to bring in her own daughter, a documentary filmmaker. And let me just tell you something about documentaries because I've made plenty of them. It's film, right? Like you got special music to go with things. This, it's not news, okay? It's film. There's a bias. There's a point of view. Alexandra had all this footage complete with the music underneath, et cetera, et cetera. And then she sold it or gave it to CNN who then ran it as a CNN exclusive with their CNN exclusive bug as though they were the ones that shot the footage themselves instead of getting it from Alexandra. I mean, again, I'm just saying what I'm seeing here. And I don't think it's really appropriate that the house speaker brings in her daughter, the documentary filmmaker to shoot the video that day. And then it airs all over the airwaves. And you think about, you know, the, the hearings that went on and all we saw was Alexander Pelosi's footage, which looked as though it was CNN. Let's take a peek. Walk down memory lane, shall we? Never before seen footage. Okay, Drew, can you stop it right there? The US Never seen before footage. The CNN exclusive up on the left-hand side. Now, in this particular clip, they do credit the speaker's daughter, but you hear the music underneath, right? That's all her documentary film style, not news style. This is film stuff, okay? And it's the daughter of the Speaker of the House. Let's keep going. Capital as it was under attack on January 6th. The videos captured by her daughter, Alexandra Pelosi, a documentary filmmaker. We have got to finish the proceedings or else we're going to have to come in quickly. She provided some of her footage to the January 6th Select Committee, who played clips in their hearing Thursday. Hmm. So yeah, you saw that video on a loop over and over again. We saw it in the hearings. I've shown you some clips from the hearings after the fact. They were so proud of themselves for these hearings and the fact that they got themselves a Disney ABC producer to come in and tell the stories because they had to weave together a narrative and they wanted to make sure because it was so important that that narrative get spelled out for everybody to see. And then they're so pompous and self-centered and so egotistical about all this, that then they come out with a documentary on themselves, which aired on PBS, I think it was Frontline, praising themselves for having gotten the ABC News Disney producer to help them spin this tale. I mean, enough already, right? So then you start saying, well, what exactly is going down here? There's a little too much spin, shall we say. Well, the reason for that, ladies and gentlemen, is for one reason only, they don't want him in the White House. And believe me, if it wasn't him, it would be someone else. You saw how they once went after Ron DeSantis with everything they had. I think about some of the things that Whoopi said about him on The View, some of the things that that sunny lady said about him on The View. I mean, they were prepared. The claws were out. They will go after whoever is on the other side with everything they've got. Sure, Donald Trump doesn't always make it easy on himself, <laughs> because he's like, boom, I'm going to punch you back in a pretty massive, significant, loud way. So as soon as he made the decision that he was going to run again, they were out to get him. And they're not going, if they can help it, to let, they don't want to let him win under any circumstances. So what do they do when they've got every single poll coming back, showing how much people are in his corner? I think it's going to get ugly. I predict it's going to get ugly because you know what? He dared to challenge them. Believe me, they're going to challenge him all day long. They had planned to in the beginning anyway. Remember Hillary Clinton? I, I, I got to play this like every day between now and November 2024 because this is a big freaking deal. What she said in August of 2020, she went on her friend's show, former PR person for Clinton, and this is what she advised Joe Biden to do in the event the election was close. You know, Joe Biden should not concede under any circumstances because I think this is going to drag out. And eventually, I do believe he will win if we don't give an inch and if we are as focused and relentless as the other side is. 
excuse me. Okay, so you understand where this is now going as we get into 24. She's going to make sure that they're not going to give an inch. I mean, they can't even believe he's running. They're, they're stunned. All their lawfare, it's not working. It's not working. And they're going to be confronted with a very real scenario that Donald Trump becomes the next president of the United States.